Hi guys, welcome back to Learning with JD. So uh, in today's session, we are going to talk about the type of estimation. What do you mean by estimation? Estimating is a technique for estimating the duration or the cost of an activity or a project. Understand that when you are in your planning stage, there are various tools and techniques that you used for estimating what will be the approximate duration in which you will complete an activity or a project uh, and how much is the cost that you need. So there are four kinds of estimation techniques. We are going to see all of them today. Analogous estimation, parametric, three-point estimation and bottom-up estimation. So there are four ways in which you can estimate your duration or the cost for a particular activity or a project. You will get approximately two to three marks in your examination. Do take care that you understand what are the various kinds of estimation and accordingly apply the same for your answer. Let's see the first one. What is an analogous estimation? Now guys, what happens generally is when you are working on a project, um, you know, you have shorter duration of time for planning. Sometimes it happens that you have shorter duration of plan for time for planning. And in that case, your manager may just come back to you and say that, you know, hey, uh, we want to plan for an activity or for a project. Tell me, what do you think? How long will it take? In that case, what you do generally is you try and see that if something, some project or some activity like is there as a part of your historical information. And if you get that information, you try and analyze on the same basis, which means analogous estimating is a technique for estimating the duration or cost of an activity or a project using historical data from a similar activity or project. If such activity has happened previously and if it has taken say seven days, you will say plus or minus, uh, you know, uh, nine days or five days is something that your activity will take. Analogous estimating uses parameters from the previous similar project, not like a different project, but a similar project such as the duration, the budget, the size, uh, complexity, the weight, right? as the basis for estimating the same parameter or measure for a future project. The project that you're working on, you can take your background from the similar previous project. Analogous estimation is generally less costly because you've not put a lot of time and effort in that and less time consuming because the data is available to you, it's quickly available than any other technique, but it is also less accurate understand that you have not done too much research on it, right? You have just taken the information from the previous project and while you're informing this to the sponsor, to your manager, to any stakeholder that, you know, this time, uh, this activity will take so much time or will have need so much cost. What you need to do is that you also need to tell them that I'm using the method of analogous estimating. Now, how does this impact you from your examination perspective? You may get a question saying that you are working on a project, but you don't have too much time. Uh, you search or you dig on the lessons learned and you find out that a project was already done on the similar lines and it's on similar kind. Uh, what kind of estimating technique do you think suits best? So it will be analogous estimation. Got that? Let's see the second one. Parametric estimation. Now there's a very thin line between analogous and parametric uh, estimation. Parametric estimation also takes the data from the previous project, which is historical data and project parameters. Additional thing which is added as a part of the parametric uh, estimation is that it also takes some value from the previous project. For example, that uh, for calculating the cost, uh, it has taken uh, say 10 rupees per square feet will be the cost was the cost of the previous project or at that point of time uh, the labor had charged 500 rupees per day something like that so the moment you add some statistical relationship between the historical data and other variables for example square footage in construction or any other to calculate and estimate for the activity parameter such as cost budget or duration it is a parametric estimation so understand 
uh, that when you get an exam uh, question and it is mentioned that you know uh, you have seen that in the previous project 10 rupees per square feet was used in construction and uh, that's historical information which is available what kind of estimating technique are you using it is a parametric estimation now comes the three point estimation so using a three point estimation that helps define an appro approximate range for an activity's duration now you will definitely get one or two mark question on three point estimation it's a simple calculation you need to remember this and you will easily crack one or two marks here so do not mess out here okay so there are three parameters that will be given to you okay uh, one is the most likely two is the optimist figure three is the pessimist figure so let's take an example for example that there is an activity that needs to be completed you feel that in the most optimist scenario you will be able to finish this activity say in 5 days the most pessimist scenario is say 15 days and most likely say 12 days is what you will finish this activity in now this is the kind of estimation that needs to be done and there is a formula around this that as to how will you find out the three point estimating value which is te so te is assuming we are taking time into consideration here if it is cost it will be ce so te is time to o plus m plus p which is o is the optimist figure so our optimist figure here was 5 most likely was uh, 12 so 5 plus 12 and plus p which was the most pessimist figure which was 15 so which is uh, 5 plus 12 plus 15 is equal to 32 and you need to divide 32 by 3 which is 10.66 right so which means that as per the three point estimation you will be able to finish this particular activity in 10 days and say a few hours right 10.66 okay so that's the way you find out the three point estimation have you got it see guys this is really important from your examination perspective I just understand that these three values of o m and p which is optimist most likely and pessimist will be given to you from your examination perspective you just need to put the up formula and get to a number right and if it does you will get the correct answer that can be one kind of question and the second kind of question is that you are calculating by taking a mean or you are calculating by taking three scenarios what kind of estimation are you using it's a three point estimating technique got that so these three are the most key ones and the last one is the bottom up estimation so bottom up estimation is the method which is estimated as the planning of the project progresses for example and it is more accurate as well which means that you plan the project activities at the lowest level say at the wbs level right at the work breakdown structure level and then you aggregate it to come up to an estimate so for each activity you will know that this activity will take 2 days 3 days 1 day whatever and then you add all that and then you come up with a very very approximately accurate project timeline which will say that okay you will finish this project in this particular timeline and that's what is known as bottom up estimation so let's see what it is bottom up estimating is a method of estimating project duration or cost by aggregating right i told you you aggregate the estimate of the lower level component of the wbs hmm? when an activity's duration cannot be estimated without a reasonable degree of confidence the work within the activity is decomposed into more detail so if there is an activity that you are not able to estimate you further break it down you further decompose it at the level where you can estimate it the detail durations are then estimated so these durations whatever you uh, you know or these activities whatever you break down or decompose are further estimated you roll it up and you create your bottoms up estimation so guys remember analogous estimation parametric estimation three point estimation and bottom up estimation analogous is less costly less time consuming and also less accurate parametric also less uh, costly less time consuming and a little more accurate than analogous why because you have some statistical relationship with the historical data 
third is 3 point uh, estimate remember o plus m plus p divided by 3 and the fourth one is bottom up estimation which is the most accurate but time consuming and also costly i hope this topic is clear to you thank you for hearing me out uh, do like share and comment on my video and i will definitely come back to you if you have any queries do do subscribe to my channel uh, and i'll see you soon with some more videos click on the bell icon so that you get the notification as soon as i upload a video keep studying and all the best